Hey, how's it going? So I'm here at my shop. I got my freaking uh, freshly built engine there. I just uh, moved it over to the pallet there, so luckily it's pretty small. I can lift it myself from there to there. Freaking. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna be setting the end play for the centric shaft today. So I just sent this on uh, the other day just so I could check to make sure it makes compression. So works good. Here, freaking queefs. But uh, anyways, yeah. So I'm just gonna take this apart and. Uh, do like actual mock up with the new uh, bearings and stuff. I just use the old uh, needle bearings in there and everything. So I'm going to put the new stuff in and then uh, check the end play. So I'll make some videos as I go along there. Alright, so I uh, took everything off here, the front stack. So it's right down to the uh, front stationary gear. So you can see it's all lined up here pretty much in order the, uh, which way it goes. but. Like I have those uh, new needle bearings, these are actually from like an RX-8, so it's the same like size, but I guess like it's a higher speed rating or something, so it's better bearing, that's what they include in their kit there, and uh, I have like a new thermal pellet that replaces the little thing that goes in the end of the crankshaft, so it'll like, it'll end up having like better uh, oil pressure and stuff when it's still cold, so like before there was like a little thermostat thing in there, it opens and closes, so it'll when it's cold it cuts all like the oil feeds to the rotors and stuff so like just to warm the rotor faces up it was like for emissions and stuff but like that it ends up you have like really low oil pressure like you can see in some of my old videos it would, when it was cold it'd be like right down low so this will friggin uh, bump it up so it has good oil pressure all the time and then and a new front seal for the front cover so friggin uh, get those things all set up there Friggin on uh, check the end play. Alright, so the first thing you start with is this little spacer here. The chamfered side goes down, there's a little groove there you can see. And then it's flat on that side, so that goes facing down. And then uh, next will be a bearing here, so this is one of the new RX-8 ones, so just get some oil there and uh, make sure it's nice and coated all the way around. And then uh, these ones set in there like that. And then uh, get like the spacer like this is what you use pretty much to set the end play so I'll find the letter on it this is a C so you can see the C right there but they're different size like if uh, if you don't have enough end play you need a taller spacer and if there's too much you need a shorter one so pretty much this one's right in the middle of uh, all of them so I'm hoping it works pretty good like usually if there's too much you can just uh, sand these down a little bit but like if it's if there's not enough you need to go get a new one from the dealership so you slide that over the end of the crank or the centric shaft there and make sure it uh, sits down in between that bearing so that's the one uh, really important thing so just make sure it's seated all the way down in that bearing it's not getting caught up or anything and then uh, next you get this plate here so see that all right there and it's got to line up with these two pins right here so freaking uh, you can tell pretty much there's little uh, dirt marks freaking from where I used to sit so get that lined up yeah next is these uh, 12 millimeter bolts here so I'm just gonna put these in uh, pretty snug like not super tight or anything like I'll torque them down properly after when I'm uh, doing the actual uh, front setup here so this is just for like temporary freaking purposes here so I'll get those put in and I'll get back to you guys alright so those bolts are all in so uh, next is the other uh, bearing here so I'm just gonna coat that with some oil get rid of the package here so I'll just get a little bit in the oil cap there and then I can just run it around so uh, just enough so it's wet I guess pretty much uh, sorry I move it off camera there so yeah, I set this one in here too. Just make sure it uh, fits over that spacer too. That's because uh, pretty much that's why you have to keep it straight up because you don't want these bearings to uh, fall down and get pinched because uh, you'll have like a whole lot of problems after that. So. Next is this uh, little spacer here. If you get a bit of oil on this, it pretty much will just sit inside here. It's so usually they uh, get stuck in there, but uh, this one popped out. So I've got the keyway now, so I'm just sliding that in here. Just make sure it sits in there good. And then uh, get your freaking front counterweight here. Slide it over there so 
I'm gonna do this one hand. Just make sure that sits right down there. Then uh, next is this freaking uh, little drive gear for the oil pump. It goes with uh, the freaking knob sticking up. Just line this one up. Then next is this uh, drive gear for the oil metering pump. And uh, another thing that's important on this is there's another chamfered end right there. So you can see this one's squared up. Get this lined up with that keyway here. So it's a bit tricky one handed. There we go, slide that down. And then next is just the hub boss thing here. So slide that over too. And then the freaking hub bolt. So, oh, my camera's out of focus. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to tighten this down. Yeah, so you get a screwdriver and you just uh, stick it in here so when the counterweight goes around you can stop it and uh, torque that down to 90 foot-pounds. Then I'm going to set up the dial indicator there and uh, check the end play. Alright, so I got that torqued down. That's probably when a helper comes in handy, but anyways, you can do it yourself. Freaking, uh, I just stuck my foot on there and put the. I ended up using the pry bar stuck her in there and freaking uh just torqued her down so that's all good to go so i'm gonna get the dial indicator and get that set up just right over here and uh freaking check the end play all right before i check the end play i'm just gonna do like three revolutions here still uh, get everything seated properly so you can hear nice good compression out of it Freaking right, so yeah, it should be good now. So, got my freaking dial indicator over here. Alright, so I got my dial indicator here, it's just set up on the freaking hub bolt there. So, I got my little pry bar here, freaking gonna stick it in there and uh, just check the end shaft play. So, if we can get her set up here, so just pry up lightly on her. So, it's just under uh. 20 thousandths of an inch, so that's freaking like right on. Yeah, so in the service manual here, it says there should be uh, 16 thousandths to uh, 28 thousandths inch end play, so that's like perfect. Uh, pretty much figured uh, that C spacer would work good. So you can see over here too, I'll show you one more thing on the service manual. So you can see the different uh, spacers, and that's the different sizes. So uh, I had the C spacer right there, so it's like right in the middle. So pretty much guaranteed to work alright so now I'm just gonna clean this up real quick with a razor blade there and uh, get everything ready to uh, put the front cover on there and do the actual assembly of the front stack so just hold on for that now, this is a good time to toss your flywheel on because like especially for me I can use my uh, flywheel stopper so because once the front cover is on you won't be able to get the screwdriver in to hold the friggin uh, counterweight there so yeah, but for my car, uh, stock flywheel and clutch isn't going back on. I got these for my parts car there. Freaking brand new, like, ACT clutch and the uh, lightweight flywheel there. It's freaking right. So that's going to be going on there. I got the freaking counterweight for that right there. So I'm just going to toss that stuff on. And uh, it's not going to be down, like, torqued right down right, right yet. But uh, just put her on tight. Alright, I got it set on the side, got the freaking uh, counterweight there, because this is a two-piece flywheel, but don't forget your little keyway there for the centric shaft, and then uh, the big ass freaking nut there, so I'll set those on, and then I'll uh, bolt the flywheel to this, put my stopper on, and then I'll do the proper assembly of the front stack there. Alright, I got the bolts for the flywheel, the freaking counterweight freaking there, so anyways, I'm going to put some... Uh, Freaking Loctite on those, just because uh, I won't be separating it, but like I will be taking the flywheel off one more time because I have to go around and uh, put some. Alright, so I tossed the flywheel stopper on and I have the flywheel on there too. So I disassembled the front stack here, so you don't have to take this back off again, but uh, I am going to like put them to the proper torque. It's like 12 to 16 foot pounds, so I'll put those on and then I'm going to toss the oil pump on. So I'll uh, just hold on a few minutes. 
All right, so I got these torqued down and I uh, tossed the oil pump on. Like these only go to like four or five foot pounds, so it's not very tight at all. I put a little bit of uh, blue Loctite there, but next, the one important thing is, uh, hit my light. See the little keyway there? I got it saved, but uh, my little tip is uh, I crazy glue that little freaking thing in there, so you don't have to worry about it falling apart when you're uh, putting everything back together. Yeah, so it's just a small little keyway there, freaking you'll lose it, like, so don't drop her down any of those holes, so pretty much just turn this face in the back way. So, uh, yeah, just get some crazy glue and freaking stick that in there and you won't have to worry about it. Alright, so the next thing to go on is this, uh, bearing again, so just put some more oil on it. I'll do that, uh, afterwards when I'm done taping here, but, and then, uh, next would be that counterweight, so I'll get working on those. Alright, so I got the front counterweight on there, freaking with the other needle bearing and all that, so it's set down there, freaking, uh, this is where it gets a bit tricky, you have to, uh, get the drive gear with the oil pump chain and then the oil pump drive gear, freaking, you have to get those two, uh, keyways on this one and this one lined up, so, pretty much just get this one, uh, somewhat lined up and then you can kind of turn this one afterwards to get it all lined up and uh, drop her all down so I'm gonna be messing with that and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done yeah so there you go I don't know if I'm just professional or if I have like a really good eye but it uh, doesn't take me long at all to do that like usually the first try or like maybe a little this one was like a little minor adjustment there freaking got her right on there so uh, now I'm gonna put like this little freaking uh, washer and uh, the nut on the freaking oil pump there and uh, that should be all good to go all right, so I put that on. It go. I put it at uh, 30 foot pounds. It's like 28 to 33 foot pounds or so. So, freaking torque that one down. Freaking. So next is this with the champ side down. Freaking. There's the chamfered side, I guess. So, freaking right. Yeah. So uh, now I just gotta go around and freaking put the front cover on. All right, I got the front uh, new front seal for the front cover here. So I'm just about to pop this one out. So I'll try to show you if I can. Freaking pretty much just put my foot on her. Just get her by the lip there. And it should just pop out. A little bit stuck. Yeah, so there. I don't know, hopefully you guys seen that. I was watching what I was doing. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of motor oil around the outer edge there and freaking pop this new one in. There we go, so I tap that in with my uh, rubber mallet there, freaking right, so uh, it's just nice and flat there, so this thing's ready to go on, I'm just going to uh, clean up the gasket mating surface real quick. Alright, so I got the front covers all ready to go on, freaking, uh, this part I'm a little bit sketched out about, uh, with the RA rebuild kits, they don't give you the front cover gasket, or like, usually there's a little nylon ring and then the O-ring that goes in there, freaking, uh, but on there is they give you just this uh, bigger one for the, this style engine. You just put the O-ring in there. And then uh, they say to just use silicone around here. But uh, the two things you have to worry about is to make sure that that O-ring stays in place there. And then this little hole right here. That's the little oil channel for uh, feeds the oil metering pump or something. So freaking yeah last time I got like that little nylon ring and the O-ring and the front cover gasket but I guess this time I'll try that out and uh, hopefully it doesn't leak so I'll see how it works out. Alright so I halomarred that in like first thing and I put a little bit in uh, the hole there just to keep the silicone from uh, seeding if it doesn't make its way in there but pretty much you just have to put like a really thin layer all the way around there like almost like translucent there so freaking I'll get smearing on the, the gasket maker and toss the front cover on and keep my fingers crossed alright I went around with all the silicone you can see it there it's a little bit messy you gotta clean that up a bit but I uh, left like a little gap around there I used like a little paintbrush there just freaking uh, just to get right in there because my fingers are pretty fat so anyways freaking I uh, should be able to put the front cover on here so uh, I just hope this freaking works Alright, so I got the front cover torqued down. I torqued them to 15 foot pounds. It's like 12 to 17 foot pounds or so, so I always just stick in the middle. But uh, this is the old like thermal pellet here. You can see it's like got a little spring. It's actually like a little thermostat and all that. So, freaking, uh, anyways, this is the replacement, like a thermal plug or whatever. So, this goes in uh, straight down in there. 
Freaking so first like the spring goes in there, so I got the spring here. Freaking oh, set her down in there, and then this with the little uh, nipple facing up. Just make sure it sits down in there. Freaking should be good to go. Yeah, so set that in there, and uh, now I'm gonna have to swap out this uh, little O-ring here. Freaking on the second gens, there's a little brass freaking washer that goes there, but on the third gen, they don't have it. So pretty much, I'm gonna swap out that uh, O-ring real quick, and then. Uh, Gonna put some uh, sealing around here and then some Loctite on the threads. All right, so I got this thicker O-ring. It was in with the uh, Dalpin O-rings when I was building the engine, so it just goes on the end right there. I got the old one off, and then I'm gonna just put the sealing on there, and I'll freaking torque this down. There we go. So I got that freaking torqued down. Put the sealing and uh, Loctite on the freaking thing there on the bolt. So uh, yeah, this thing's like ready freaking to go pretty much so I can start like tossing on the oil pan and everything like to turn it over nice and safe so I'll give her a couple cranks once I set it on its side here and uh, you can hear the nice compression yeah so there we go freaking uh, all sealed up now freaking all the ends pretty set so I'll just set this up and I'll give you guys like a little sound of the compression here yeah so I'll just freaking give her a couple cranks freaking uh, right here Freaking right, boys. So yeah, she's freaking almost ready to go. So uh, now I'm just gonna work like crazy, get her all freaking bolted all back together, and get her in the freaking car. All right, so I put my flywheel stopper back on, and I just popped this off. So I'm gonna put some silicone around this now and uh, torque her right freaking down. So it has to go on like pretty hard. Like I think it's like 290 foot pounds to like 360 foot pounds. So. With this, this is about like a, say what, like three foot bar almost right there, freaking. So I gotta put about like a hundred foot pounds of, or a hundred pounds of force on the end of that, so it's not too bad. All right, I'll show you my technique on how I tighten this freaking son of a bitch up. So I like basically just put my foot there and just freaking reef on it. I've been just doing that, so it should be good now. So I had her right freaking down, so I don't know. I'll take the tool off, and the flywheel should be on there good. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. So I got like the front cover on this freaking the front hubs all freaking done. So and the flywheel. So pretty much just everything else just needs to start going back on in there. So. That's gonna be the next video, freaking just reassembling the freaking uh, engine block here. So, I don't know, I'll talk to you guys later.